Hi. Now for this next part, part B, we've got to use the result in part A to show that sigma of r cubed minus 2 going from r equals 1 to n is equal to a quarter n all multiplied by n cubed plus 2n squared plus n minus 8. And then we've got to calculate the exact value of sigma r cubed minus 2 going from r equals 20 to 50. So if you haven't tried this already and you want to give it a go, just pause the video, come back when ready, and you can check your work solution with mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So first of all, what I'm going to do is just copy down what we're asked to show. That is sigma of r cubed minus 2 going from r equals 1 to n. Now to do something like this, what we need to do, because we've got two terms here, is to expand this. And that is the same as doing sigma of r cubed, going from r equals 1 to n, minus sigma of the constant 2, going from r equals 1 to n. Now we can use the result then from part a that sigma r cubed is equal to a quarter n squared multiplied by n plus 1, all squared. Now when it comes to minus sigma of a constant, in this case 2, we're adding up 2 n times. So the result is going to be 2n. So we're going to subtract 2n from here. Now what I notice that what we've got to prove is all just one term here. It's got a common factor of a quarter n out the front. So what I'm going to do is just force a quarter n out the front of a bracket. We'll put a square bracket there in anticipation we're going to have brackets within this bracket. So I'd need to multiply by another n then to bring it up to n squared and then n plus 1 all squared. Now for the minus 2n, I just need minus 8 there. Quarter n times the minus 8 will give us minus 2n. So we've got a quarter n then, and now all I'm going to do is just expand this bracket here. So we've got n squared plus 2n plus 1, and then we've got the minus 8 on the end there. And then if I just multiply out what we have in the square bracket, you'll see that gives us what we want. n cubed plus 2n squared, then plus n, and then minus the 8. And there you have it, what we had to prove. OK? Now for the next part, part C, OK? Calculate the exact value then of r cubed minus 2 going from r equals 20 to 50 when we sum it. So again, we'll just put down what we're asked to prove, OK, or find the value of anyway. That is r equals 20 to 50 of r cubed minus 2. Now when you're doing something like this, first of all, we notice that is starting from 20, not from 1. So to get around this problem, all we do is we say this is the same as the summation, r going from 1 to 50 of r cubed minus 2. And then we subtract sigma r going from 1 to the term below 20, which has got to be when n equals 19. And that's going to be r cubed minus 2. OK, so what we can do now is just put in these values that we've got from part B here. So for this first one, n is 50. So we've got 1 quarter then multiplied by 50. And then that is all multiplied by 50 cubed plus 2 times 50 squared plus 50 and then minus 8. So we've got that one 
and then we've got to subtract let's just force it down here when n is 19 so we've just got to do a quarter of 19 and again we'll put this in the square bracket we've got 19 cubed plus 2 times 19 squared plus 19 and then minus the 8 well if you work out the first term here you'll find that you get 1625525 and then subtract and if you work this one out you get 36062 and if you subtract those two values from one another you get 1589463 okay so hope that's given you an idea across those two parts